Yo, what's up, React Faces? Uh, welcome to today's video. You guys have been asking me non-stop to react to Pecan's videos. Uh, I just chose one at random, so we're just gonna jump straight into it, react to it. Okay, here we go. I didn't want to have to make this video. I, I really, really didn't want to have to make this video, and I mean that, all right? I'm not someone who likes to bring drama to the foreground. I don't like to even bring up drama. I don't like to talk about drama. I don't like to call people out in public spaces. I prefer to just deal with it to that person one-on-one. -on -one. You know, there's no reason that I should have to bring this to light, but it's gotten to the point where I really don't have another choice because of just the circumstances and how everything's played out and it's just gotten too much to handle and honestly I don't I don't know what else to do so here I am making this video that I never thought I would have to make and it just pains me because it, it didn't start out like this it started out like like just any other friendship that I like thought I could trust this person that I thought I meshed well with this person and that I understood their intentions that in this point in my life that I would be able to tell somebody's intentions but I guess I was just wrong all right and this might be a bit confusing but just give me a second to collect my thoughts I don't want to do this in multiple takes but it's just it's been a lot so if 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 I lose my train of thought I, I apologize but here goes about over a year ago, I started making videos with somebody you probably know, Clumsy, the Clumsy King, link in the description, and it's it started off good, you know, like, we meshed well, like I said, we, we actually were pretty good friends, you know, I thought legitimately, like, it was more than just making collabs, we were actually friends, you know, we enjoyed making videos, we enjoyed playing together, and it was all, you know, you know fun games for a while, um, and I thought maybe we were just becoming quickly too good friends like he would take jokes a bit too far sometimes he would kind of really push into certain topics and issues that I didn't really feel comfortable talking about and it honestly just started going downhill really quickly um there was a point where I told him something in confidence that I didn't think that he would bring to light nor keep bringing to light over and over again I I was having a, a bad hair day and I sent him a picture funny picture friends send friends funny pictures all the time and I told him how it made my forehead look big and that people could see my big forehead vein which I'm very self-conscious about and don't like talking about too much honestly I didn't want to get this new camera because it shows it off too well and I thought I was telling this to him in confidence and in secrecy and he started just making jokes about it which you know it's fine friends make jokes about other friends insecurities all the time it's kind of like an inside joke you know it's fine when it's between friends but it quickly became a lot more than that and it went a lot further than that because he started making those kinds of jokes in videos and you know, at first I was like, all right, it's content, it's, it's funny, I guess, it hurts a bit, but a afterwards, he kept doing it, and I, I would tell him that it, it hurt a bit to be constantly ridiculed for something I'm so insecure about, and he just flat out told me he didn't care, that I should just deal with it, because it's for the videos, and I, I was kind of, you know, put back, like, this was a few months ago so a good amount of time into us making videos and I honestly just didn't know what to say but then it got even worse and he would go into my comment section and my live streams and just try and turn people against me and that's what really hurt was seeing the community here turn against my forehead in just such an outlandish way like there was just so many people like talking about my forehead pointing out my forehead vein and I just, I just didn't know what to do. He just wouldn't relent. Luckily, my girlfriend Taylor, she had my back. And after putting thousands of dollars of our own money into scientific research and a good study team, after weeks of research, we were able to mathematically prove that me and Clumsy have the same size forehead, which kind of just left me questioning things. 
like why would he go so far to do this and then it kind of clicked with me that because we have the same size forehead maybe he's projecting his insecurities on me and trying to make himself feel better about his own weird shaped head i don't know i at this point like i was fine dealing with all of that you know it if he's insecure about something maybe it's just something we need to talk about one-on-one -on -one and just deal with it all right i wasn't going to make this video if it just ended there but it didn't it didn't <laughs> at a certain point uh in making videos i told clumsy about this australian boy that i'd found an orphan um and that i was going to adopt him and raise him because i felt like i could give him a better life and uh, you probably all know him his name's toho he's a, a wonderful child He's got a bright future ahead of him, and I told Clumsy before I even signed any of the paperwork that I was planning to do this, and I thought he would be happy and try and support me in this, but he just he just kept taking it too far in some things, and he started making jokes about trying to win custody over Toho in just stupid ways like uh, in Toho. golf he, matches he's, and he's just outlandish anyway. things like that and I just that thought he was he's still just joking but at a certain point I guess he he wasn't and he just took it a little too far because you may know that Toho disappeared about a month ago stopped making videos nobody knew where he was I didn't know where he was and then after a few days uh, after the search started it kind of occurred to me what what could have happened to him but I didn't want to believe it I asked clumsy if he knew what happened to Toho and he just kind of did his stupid dolphin laugh and told me that he had won custody in a, in a golf game so it was his right to take him and I had no proof, really. I mean, it was just my word against his. But after weeks of investigating, the Australian chief of police told me that they did, in fact, find Toho locked in Clumsy's basement. And that he'd been feeding him prunes for weeks. He doesn't even like prunes. That might be the part that hurts me the most. He doesn't even know what Toho eats. He, he eats maccas. He eats maccas every day. Not prunes. I just don't understand why he would take him away from me after I told him in confidence before anyone else. And of course I would have just let this be settled by the courts, but because I forgot that Australia doesn't have laws nor any kind of real prison because the island itself is a prison, there's really nothing that they could have done to punish Clumsy. So they did get him released they did get toho released he is safe and sound and he's being shipped over to me in the united states uh on a cargo ship he's in one of those bins he's safe okay he's safe he's on his way to me but just the fact that for weeks i didn't know where he was my boy toho and that he was eating prunes it just hurts it just hurts i don't know really what to do what to say because really there's there's no repercussions he stole toho for me for weeks and there's just really nothing that, that could have been done about it I, I, I had nowhere else to go what else to do besides bring this to light and let you all decide for yourself what you think of clumsy really what was it jeremy this is a shitty april fool's joke toho was never i never adopted toho clumsy di he didn't do any of those things but we still have the same forehead, and he does laugh like a dolphin. Oh. Huh. Alright guys, so that was today's reaction. Uh, make sure to like the video if you liked it. Make sure to smash it. Just, just punch it, okay? Make sure you subscribe if you're not, okay? And stay clumsy.